down to a local drain in the Lincolnshire area. It's on. It's, it's actually at Trussthorpe, which is between Mablethorpe and Sutton on Sea. Those gates there, they actually sort of open, and you can hear them running now, and that's running out into the sea. The sea just over that bank there. I'm after roach today. Been getting a few down here, but obviously with the weather as it's been, not been able to come down and fish it because there's been too much water in it pulling through. On the bait table today, I bought some hemp because with it running, or it will run for quite a while, it's a bit heavier bait, so I'm hoping it'll stay down. Got a few red maggots left, a few white maggots that are turning, some pinkies, and some bread punch crumb. Normally when it runs you'll catch them right under your feet so for that reason it's only a three and a half metre whip today and I'm fishing a top and bottom float. I have got my other one that's got the little waggler on but with it running faster today I'm not really too worried about it and all my shot is bolt with one little dropper just above the hook length. It's a four inch hook length of 0.10 it's a size 20 B611 hook and as usual it's a flick tip that we're fishing at the top end of the whip so we'll get feeding and hopefully catch some fish well the plan to start with today is quite simple fish maggot on the hook white maggot feed a bit of hemp and a few white maggots. I'm not going to feed the uh, punch crumb to start with. Just fed a few grains of hemp and a few white maggots so far. And so that's literally all you're fishing. You're right, fishing right close in. You don't seem to bother too much about the uh, about coming into the bank if they're there. little touches so just throwing a few maggots just up slightly upstream to try and get them to land more or less where my hemp is and trotting over the hemp so it is running at the moment it's sometimes a good thing Some there. I'm hoping they'll be a bit bigger than this, but so I've had two already. The thing with the drains is, is knowing when they're going to run. And usually, if you know, find out what time the low tide is in your area, I mean, it's quite easy here because I'm right on the seafront, or more or less on the seafront. So I know today the low tide is going to be about 11 o'clock. So usually it will run sort of two to three hours either side of the low tide. They're going to get a bit bigger than these. Unfortunately, like with most of the drains, you can be on the fish or you can be miles away from them. Don't always stay in one place. It's nice to be able to actually get down and fish them again or try and fish them. So just throwing a few grains of hemp in so it being quite heavy it should sit there pretty much. The other thing to be aware of when it run, well obviously when it's running off is the water level will drop. So sometimes you've got to try and uh, keep with, with you just in your depth otherwise you'll be dragging hard on the bottom. Yeah, a lot of false indications 
It's only about three foot deep today. So it's a half gram float I'm using. It bulked right down to get it fishing straight away. Those fish keep coming. Don't always matter. They ain't always got to be huge. Obviously, it's better if they if they are a bigger stamp. So my mate had quite a few last year of the bigger stamp ones down here, but they've not really shown this year. So the six ounce has been quite a good fish down here. Whereas last year he was getting them sort of six to six ounce to twelve ounce, so oddens a pound. And obviously then you soon bump a weight up. Sometimes it looks like you just drag bottom, the float sort of stops rather than it actually going under. And very often you'll find it's a uh, fish hanging on to it. Coming up to round about an hour and a half fishing and I should say I've got somewhere between maybe 80-90 sort of fish between half ounce and a couple that might be touching four ounce. The stamps I say not been huge but I'm getting loads of bite which is really good so hopefully they'll keep coming and I'll just get my head down and catch as many fish as I can and try and put a weight together. So sometimes they'll just back off and go another about a metre further out. I don't really want to chase them any further than that because I've not set the pole up. Oh, that's a diddy one. Lively one, a little bit better. Still pairs of eyes. Still fishing maggot on the hook, like a numpty, I forgot to bring sliced bread with me. And Tealing didn't go any sandwiches so I can't use that either. Just thought I'd try the liquidised bread going in to see if it'll bring anything else in, I've got nothing to lose. look it but it's actually very cold just a slight right to left breeze as I'm fishing just catching the line a little bit not a lot but Dragging the float a little bit with the wind, a bit of breeze. Might be better with a waggler, get it under the skim. 
not really pulling too fast that uh, I think it's going to worry it. Still keep a bit of hemp going in. I just think it's a good holding bait for roach. So now it's stopped running. I've got my four meter whip out. Size 20 hook, 0.08 bottom. And it's a strung out sort of number eights. So a little whip wag leaf, perhaps seen this before, it's a little Y stem whip waggler locked together with two float rubbers, float stops, and again it's a flick tip. Now it's stopped running, I'll be able to get my line under the surface of the water and stop the float dragging through to hopefully get a bit better bait presentation. That's the theory anyway. Oh, white maggot feeding bread. I was getting a lot of very small fish holding the bait up in the water when I'd got my shot spread out. So I've moved it so that it's all on top of milk length, which gets it down a lot quicker. And if the float doesn't settle sort of straight away, I know that something's holding it up in the water rather than waiting and playing about with it. So at least it's given me more positive indication Keep picking odd, slightly better one up, but the slightly better are two ounce. Certainly not been lacking in bites today, can't say that.
plenty of quantity, but not a lot of quality. Not some bad ends, you know, some that's not too bad. Bit annoyed I've dropped two off that were about four ounce. Just come back up an inch or so because it's not running anymore. That little bit of breeze has just picked up a bit, that's what's blowing a lot of this stuff across the top of the water. It's not a lot, but it's obviously cold. Just tunnels it along here, it's dead right to left as I'm fishing. Not been one bit of sunshine today. Probably come out as I pack up. <laughs> it'll be a freezing cold night. Interesting to see what weight I end up with. It's not a lot of fish. Not better on that. It's been a funny sort of session really, you don't know whether to feel disappointed or not, because uh, plenty of fish. It's one of them funny days where at the end of the day I'm probably not going to have any clue what I've, weight I've got, because I've had so many small ones, and sometimes you actually lose count of the better fish you've had. been sure to bite. Not sure one day I'll come down here and find them big roach. About the worst spells I've actually had for catching fish is when I've had the camera on. Must be a bit camera shy. I think sometimes you can set your sights a bit too high. Just keep coming down here and hoping to find some of them big roaches that somebody once had.
It all bodes well for it though, the amount of roach that are here. Bit big, little or whatever. Get such a short sort of space of time though to actually fish the drains and that because in summer obviously they're all weeded up and you can't fish them. And say with the winter we've had half the time they've been flooded and you can't fish them. about the smallest I was hoping for. Well, that's the moment of truth. Let's see what we've had. Not too bad. Let's try and get up the bank without falling down. Might have a bit more than I thought, eh? I think we might need the, the new scales. About 25 pound of fish. Oh, silvers. So just goes to show you, I didn't think I'd got anywhere near that. Never say never. Well, cracking net of fish. What more could you want than that, January? <laughs> 